Do you think he was ruthless? I mean, from, from what, what you, you hear. What you know yeah. and what you read. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, 100%. But. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, with your dad? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like he, uh, sound, all right, so there's but another rumor I mean, that you can't be a and end up in that position. Can't have that <laughs> rank you can't be a kingpin? I don't think so, because at some point, somebody, if you have millions of dollars that you're making on the street and you're a somebody is going to come and take that from you. But what if you have people that protect you, though? Then you're not a because you got a protecting you. I what, might be what, a bit. But what I can't they, fight, but I got security out there that'll shoot somebody for me, and I got a lot of people that might do something for me, so it's like, I don't need to be a prize fighter, right? Yeah, but what if you? But what if they just do it because they love you? Well, what if, what, love what, you what if? I'm still paying for being the bills. A, for be, it's still it, part of my organization. He pays at, them. At one point, a human being becomes bigger than just himself. If yeah, you're able I, to build up an organization around you or whatever, and, you know? that's, and yeah. that's what that's what happened with him. Yeah. He just became big because he was able to. You feel me? Mm. But I don't feel like that's necessarily mean that he was ruthless, though. I mean, you also hear stories that he's probably the one that uh, was involved with Jam Master J getting killed. Or no, I, I think they found the people that did that, or what allegedly, or whatever like oh. that. People have been already like convicted, or they fight in their case for that. I think. Like I, I don't. But you heard the rumors that it was connected to your dad. Like I know. You I mean, I feel like every, I feel like they want to put everything bad that happens in Queens and connect it to him. In a way, and I don't know why they. I think that's an agenda that they're just trying to push. Like, if something happened to an older guy in Queens, like, oh yeah, he might have did it, or his cousin might have did it, or his nephew might have did it. Like, yeah. that's just what they want to promote. Just because who else can we say did it? The mm -hmm. rumor was because uh, Jam Master J is the one that actually discovered Fifty Cent, and he played a part in 50, 50 Cent career actually being. But when he Fifty was with Jam Master J, I don't even think he was lit. Like nobody knew before who, that. Yeah, he was yeah like nobody the first knew, person who helped yeah. him in his career, right? Yeah, but yeah, just be. But like, I know people that helped me. Ten years ago, it didn't really. I'm not. I'm more lit now than I was when they tried to. You feel me? Like just because Jam Master J helped him with a record deal that didn't even amount to anything. You think that this guy is gonna? That's just that's people think life is a fucking movie. Like that's a movie script that we're reading right now. It's not like that's not even realistic. But it is crazy to think that if you became little baby, you know, then everybody who helped you throughout your career that has stories about you early on in your career before you became this crazy superstar are going to be doing fucking interviews on platforms telling regular ass stories about yeah one time I seen him and he was falling down drunk outside exactly. the club looking like a bozo exactly. and that if you're a little baby and somebody's got a story about you from back in the day like that it's it's huge you know that's like you, you're getting Could an be. interview off telling that story which is kind of crazy yeah I mean and people everybody wants to be famous fame, fame is like the the, the most severe drug. So if I got a story about Adam or I got a story about you and I don't think nobody heard it, I can even, if the story is 4% true and the red, the other 96% is just me adding shit into it, I'm going to say that story online and go viral. Everybody wants a viral moment. Everybody wants fame. Everybody wants clout. And like, that's just what it is right now. You get what I'm that saying? Is, I, I never even thought about this before and I don't want to give anybody any ideas, but that is true, is that there are people that whoop my ass 10, 15, 20 years ago, and if they were to do a fucking interview with some shitty ass platform and tell that story, mm -hmm. they might get 100,000 views from just talking and about they, beating me up when I was 19. And you know what they're going to do after that? They're going to start a YouTube channel. And then, sure. they, and then they monetize and whooping your ass. Damn. So you just gave probably seven people an idea just now. I hope they don't see this episode, yeah. So you never been like you never been like a fighter. I would have fun with it. No, I grew up fighting all the fucking time. I just can objectively kind of look at myself now and be like, yeah, you ain't exactly fucking Brock Lesnar out here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type shit. More like all John right. Jones. What's your beef with Fifty Cent Son Marquise? Um, yo, you know what's so funny? I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get away from Marquise or Fifty, like. The questions, the... What's Marquise up to these days? I never see him. I, I never... Uh, I, I haven't thought about that name in years. I and Like, I feel like I keep him relevant in a way. Not even trying to be funny, but I feel like I keep him relevant. All right, well, nobody was talking about him, but... Everybody needs an op. I'm not... I'm, that's not really my op, though. I just feel All like, right. you know, we was young kids. We took a picture. That's... Yeah, we took the picture. It was blown out of proportion. I was trolling because I seen how viral, I just said everybody want a viral moment. It was going viral on somebody else's page. I'm like, no, I want some of that traction on my page. I reposted it and it just took a life of its own. And then everybody automatically just made us into oppositions or I probably paid, played a small part in that too, but I feel like it took a life on its own. But that was the first and last time I've ever seen him in my life. Like I'm not cool with him. I don't know him. 
uh, I, we was we had got an opportunity presented to us to fight, do a celebrity boxing match, and I DM'd them. And that's what the DMs was about. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah like, come on, he talking about I'm fanned out. Bro, You who, nobody knows you. Who are you? Yeah, you 50 Cent, okay, what else? I'm Prem, son. I'm not going to be. I didn't even know you, guy. You're not on the internet. How would I know you? So he tried to say, oh, you was fanned out. You want to take a picture. You wanted to, you was DMing me your number. Bro, I don't want to be cool with you. I don't like men. <laughs> you feel me? But he tried to spin it. So I'm like, okay, you tried to spin it based off what? Like, what were you trying to do? Like, you was trying to get clout. You were trying to go viral. Because why would you spin it as if that happened? And you know that's not how it happened. Because how the fuck would I know who you are at 19 years old, 18? I don't know who you are, bro. We was in a club. We was drunk. Yo, a guy said, yo, take this picture, y'all two. He knew who both of us was. Wait, guy, so when you took the picture, you're saying you didn't even know that was 50 Cent's son? I did, I did oh. not know who that was. It was a, a, another guy I was with. I'm I'm clapped. I'm you feel me? We we having a good time. We drunk. I'm he like, yo, 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 come take this picture. We took the picture, and then that was that. Neither one of us knew who each other was, bro. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's and hard it, to believe, not gonna lie. Like, damn, there's no way. So y'all are living in the same area, y'all got the Well, you from Long Island. I'm from Queens. I don't be in Long Island. You feel me? We but had, you're, you're both y'all y'all, you know what I'm saying? There's a huge famous movie about 50 Cent and his dad's Mar Marquise situation. wasn't in the movie, though. But just <laughs> the lore around it, it just would be hard to believe. Like, damn, both of y'all didn't know anything about each other at all? Nah, we didn't, bro. We didn't. I seen and, we Queen, still, and we still don't know nothing about each other. I seen you got a lot of backlash for taking the pictures, though. Like, what was the backlash? The backlash about? was because I was trolling. And people felt like I was trying to separate a father and a son. And I'm like, yo, I have nothing to do with separation. Like, they would have been separated. It's the mother. It's, it's Marquis' mother. It has nothing to do with me. I couldn't... Fuck up the relationship or help repair it. You get what I'm saying? But now in hindsight, like 50 and Marquise relationship, like I understand it a little bit more. I'm looking at uh, Marquise's Instagram right now. And yeah, he's like talking about how he doesn't has, have his dad's phone number and like can't talk to him. Yeah, so like you crying out for help. That's pretty crazy. You he, he's a Twitch streamer too. But did you know that before you Googled it? No, I just <laughs> I just saw that now, yeah. Like, I haven't thought about him besides, like, knowing his name, like, 20 years ago type shit. And then you know? after that, when was the last time you seen him? I mean, I, I haven't he thought about him. He went recently for of, complaining about his dad not giving him And then the time before that was the picture with me and him. Yeah. So, I mm -hmm. mean, like, why wouldn't you want to do a celebrity boxing match with me for 50K for three rounds, 20 minutes, 50K? Why not? There's yeah. another boxing match that, that was supposed to happen, too, with Drew and Paparazzi Poe, which is also, Who's like— that? You know, nah, paparazzi poet, <laughs> Apple son. Like you got the Supreme son, Fifty Cent son, mm -hmm. Apple son. What if so I the, told you that wasn't Apple son? I what heard. If I, I told, what I, if I told you that? I've heard that before. But what do you know? That's not his son. Apple went online and said, "This is not my son. I don't even know who his mom is." Really? Yeah. So I mean, like I said, everybody want a viral moment. Everybody wants to be famous. Fame is a hell of a drug. I might have to eat some whoops and do my homework on that one. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. That's not his son. Well, we got to dig deeper. I've asked him about that personally because after we did an interview on No Jumper, he sent me pictures of him with Apple, I believe, at a young age, just to, to clarify that. You seen those pictures? I think I do. You have think? It in my, I think I have it in my DMs. I, got, I, I want you, to, I yeah, want you I will, to show me. I'll show you after. But he sent me pictures to, to, to show that that's his father for real. I asked him about it. He said that's his father. So why you said I think? Cause I want to, I gotta confirm that's <laughs> him in the pictures. But he, I asked him, to, I asked him, I said, so yo, you question, since so, you did the interview, I've gotten a lot of DMs of people saying that you're not really Apple's son. So let me ask you a question: If he's brown skin, right? How can that? If there's a million kids that was brown skin, how do we know that that was him? You get what I'm saying? He, come on, bro, stop, stop it, bro. You think he's cloud chasing? Do I? Do I think? Hmm. <laughs> Do I? I mean, who, who can who can confirm or deny it? I mean, it'd be a wild thing to make up, but I got I haven't. You haven't you I seen people do some wild shit? You've oh, been you've been true. in the industry a long time. I'm sure you've seen some wild wild off the wall shit before. That is true. So I mean, then I think about Paparazzi Poe just dropping, slamming the rakes. He was putting on a whole show on here, man. He's a he's a very animated yeah, guy. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we were supposed to do a boxing match too. Yeah. Where y'all relationship from? That where you know him from? You know, it's so crazy. You're the one who cut him. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Um, Where you know him from? How do I know him? I know him, like, he's one of those people that, like, he just be everywhere because he doesn't have a house. So he'll be in, <laughs> he'll be in like, seven different areas, and you'll be, and then I might know somebody that knows somebody that knows him, and then, you know, we hear, you know, it's, it's social media era. Like, 
But I met him, one of my people that I used to affiliate with, not affiliate, I don't want to sound like no gang shit. One of the people I used to be cool with was cool with him. And like, I never really met him in person. Like we'll be on the phone, we'll talk, we'll text maybe once or twice in our life. But I seen what type of person he was early. So I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be around this guy. Like it just, he has like a black cloud over him for some reason. Hmm. So I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll pass. But um, he posted a picture, like a split screen picture with me 50, my dad and Marquise, and 16 shot him, seen that picture, and that's how I got cool with 16 shot him. Me and 16 shot him, then did mad con pause. We, he interviewed me, I say content together, that sounds crazy. No, I'm sorry. Um, he uh, interviewed me like three times, and me and him, like, you feel me? Like, if you go on 16 shot him page, he got the Supreme shirt on that I made, because he did on the radar. I told him to come with me on the radar, and he came, and I he put him on, like, me and him cool, like, you feel me? And me and him did a couple of interviews, but that was because Poe posted me on his page. Mm. So he kind of helped me in a way, I guess. Right. In, indirectly. I'm pretty sure he probably didn't want to help me. And but he was good clout. He was trolling. He posted the picture and then, you feel me, took a life of his own like a lot of this shit do. We just hit 600,000 subscribers on the Clips channel right here. We're trying to get to 700, so you know what to do. Smack that red button and subscribe. Appreciate you.